Hi, I'm Linda and today I'd like to tell you about my Ponder Patch. The theme this year for Learning Disability Week is my environment, my place, my planet. And a Ponder Patch is a place where you can notice nature and take in your surroundings. My Ponder Patch is in my outdoor space but many people don't have access to outdoor spaces. So Katrina has made another video about how to bring the outdoors inside and how to bring nature inside. And there's lots of resources to share um, to make an indoor ponder patch. So my ponder patch is a corner of my garden where I like to sit. And it's very multi-sensory. So I think about what I can see, what I can hear, what I can smell and what I can touch. Today it is quite sunny and bright and quite windy. So because it's sunny and if you're outside please remember and put on a little bit of suntan lotion. And when you smell I think suntan lotion it reminds you of summer. So what can I see from my ponder patch? I can see lots of greenery. I can see lots of different colours, some pinks and some reds. I can see some of the little flowers that I've planted and all their beautiful colours, yellows and violets and creams and blues and deep, deep velvety looking purple. I can see the clouds. And I can watch them scud past today because there is a breeze. I can hear lots of things. I hear just now my neighbour um, in his garden digging. Um, I hear another person out jet washing. I hear somebody else mowing the lawn and I can smell the smell of cut grass. I hear people talking in the street from across the road from one another so that they're socially distancing but keeping our conversation going. There are lots of tactile things that I've managed to find in my small patch. Lots of greens, lots of leaves and different sizes and shapes. This one here is really smooth and makes a very sort of papery noise when it's rubbed. Got a little bit of fur here which is a beautiful texture and when it's rubbed you really smell the pine so it's a really multi-sensory um, experience. The colours in the garden that I can reach from my ponder patch range from a beautiful pink to a deep red and the leaves on this deep red are really waxy to, to touch and they make almost a squeaking noise when you rub them. I've also got some quite prickly things um, that I've found. This little bit of holly, you can be very careful, whose leaves are very jaggy and a beautiful deep green. A piece of thyme and when you rub the thyme leaves smell your hands, it's a beautiful scent. So you've got touch and colour and smell. I found these berries which are great for attracting the birds um, and great food for the birds as well. I've noticed since lockdown in my ponder patch that things are much quieter. I don't hear um, as many cars, there are no planes overhead, but what I have heard much more of is birdsong, I've um, seen and heard many more bees in the garden and insects, and I've heard a lot more sounds of children outdoors playing. In the Get Involved pack this year, 
um, there are instructions on how to make a recycled bird feeder to attract more birds to your garden or to your windowsill. Um, I've made mine and it is just here. Um, it's made out of a, an old bottle and lollipop sticks and I'm going to pop it right behind me. And I'm sure that will attract even more birds into my small ponder patch space. Um, I see lots of different kinds of birds in the garden, from robins to big pigeons, to little sparrows, to little finches, um, and um, they are great fun to watch. Um, so we hope that you enjoy making your bird feeder this year, um, and uh, that you attract lots of wildlife to your space. Um, please watch um, Katrina's video. Um, for how to create an indoor ponder patch um, and please visit SELD's website for more ideas to get involved during Learning Disability Week.